Nova Mesa, a sci-fi adventure. The twin moons hung low in the alien sky as Rip Campbell piloted his sleek starship, the Valkyrie, toward the remote mining colony of Zerion 7. It was a place plagued by lawlessness, a haven for space pirates and smugglers. Rip had a reputation as a relentless enforcer of justice in the outer reaches of the galaxy, and he was on a mission to bring order to Zerion 7. As he touched down on the colony's dusty landing platform, Rip could sense the tension in the air. The colonists lived in fear, oppressed by a ruthless gang led by the notorious space pirate, Blackstar Slade. Their cries for help had reached Rip's ears, and he knew he couldn't turn a blind eye. Rip emerged from his starship, his boots clanking on the metal platform. He was a tall, rugged figure in a sleek, black space suit, with energy blasters holstered at his side. The colonists gathered around him, their faces filled with hope. You're our only hope, Rip, one of them said, her voice trembling. Rip nodded grimly. I'll put an end to this, I promise. Where can I find Blackstar Slade? The colonists pointed to the abandoned mining facility on the outskirts of the colony. He's taken over the mine, another said. And he's got his gang with him, armed to the teeth. Rip smiled, a determined glint in his visored helmet. Then that's where I'll start. Rip made his way to the mine, his energy blasters ready to fire. The entrance was shrouded in darkness, but Rip's suit had built-in night vision capabilities. He ventured into the depths of the mine, his visor casting an eerie green glow. Inside, the mine was a labyrinth of tunnels and shafts, a perfect hiding place for Slade and his gang. Rip moved cautiously, his visor scanning for any signs of movement. The only sound was the faint hum of machinery. It wasn't long before Rip detected the energy signatures of Slade's gang ahead. They were laughing, unaware of the danger that lurked in the shadows. Rip crept closer, his boots silent on the metal floor. As he rounded a corner, Rip came face to face with Slade himself, a sneer on his scarred face. Well, well, if it isn't Rip Campbell. You've got guts, I'll give you that. Rip's response was swift and deadly. His energy blasters fired, and two of Slade's henchmen fell before they could react. Chaos erupted in the mine as the remaining gang members scrambled for cover, blaster bolts flying in every direction. Rip's aim was true, and one by one, the outlaws fell to his relentless firepower. Slade, wounded but still standing, made a desperate attempt to escape. He lunged at Rip, but Rip was faster. With a quick shot, he brought Slade to his knees. The echoes of blaster fire faded, leaving the mine eerily silent once more. Rip had done it. He had single-handedly taken down Blackstar Slade and his gang, freeing Zerion 7 from their tyranny. Back in the colony, the colonists cheered as they heard the news of Slade's demise. They gathered in the dusty streets, celebrating Rip Campbell, the man who had brought justice to Zerion 7. Rip met with the colony's leader, a grateful smile on his face. You've saved us, Rip. We owe you a debt we can never repay. Rip shook his head, his visor reflecting the glow of the alien suns. I did what needed to be done. It's a tough galaxy out here, but someone's got to stand up for what's right. As the alien sun set on the horizon, Rip boarded his starship, the Valkyrie, his work on Zerion 7 complete. The colonists watched him go their faces filled with hope for a brighter future in the far reaches of the galaxy. Rip knew that his journey was far from over, and the vastness of space held many more challenges and injustices to confront. With a nod to the colonists and a heart full of determination, he set a course for the next star system in need of a hero. And so, under the infinite expanse of the cosmic sky, Rip Campbell soared into the unknown, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead on his interstellar trail of justice.